Hello guys, um, and welcome back. This is Rome Total War uh, with the Death Mode submod. This uh, this battle, or this is a custom battle that I just did, and uh, I just wanted to show you the replay because it's pretty cool. And I just wanted to show you uh, that this is actually the first gameplay from my new computer. And as you can see, Total War is running a lot better. <laughs> if you remember what it was before, a lot of lag. And now it's running really smoothly and it's great. And uh, yeah, so I wanted to show you this because it's pretty awesome. And uh, just it just run so I can show you. So as you can see, I'll show you my army. Uh, I have one, two, three, four archer auxilia. I'm playing his house with Julia, but I, I have got one, two, three, four, five, six urban cohorts got two legionary first cohorts uh, I've got one Roman armored general and I've got two units of Praetorian cavalry so yeah that's my army let's speed this up there we go now this is the Gaulish army here let's get up here uh, I've got one, two, I can pause this actually. One, two, three, four, five, new five units of chosen swordsmen. One, two, three, four units of heavy spearmen. Actually, more chosen swordsmen, so that's six, I think, here. A unit of warband, some druids, two units of barbarian noble cavalry, uh, and two units of forest or war, three units of forest or warbands, and obviously the barbarian warlord. This was um, community generated, by the way, just to say, and uh, it was on full like unlimited money, so everyone's up full experience as well, and all the other stuff as well. Let's get the there's all they're all moving up. Let's speed this up. Let's get into the fun bits. So yeah, this is just to show that uh yeah, this is my new computer and um it's running pretty well on the highest graphic settings. So I was quite happy. And um, I was wondering if you want the Total War or Rom Total War uh LP. Um I would be interested in doing it but uh, I don't know if I have time. Um, this is just showing it off because I wanted to have a look at it, see how it ran. Um, I didn't show Medieval 2 because I'm having problems with my Medieval 2. The discretion I have doesn't work with my computer for some reason. And so that's really, really annoying. So I have to get off Steam, so it's going to take me a bit to figure it out how to get to work again and get my saves from uh, my save from beforehand. So. Attack. Attacking us. We're starting off with a skirmish battle there. A little skirmish fight. So this is how uh, we're starting off with just some skirmishing. With I think I'll have the advantage in because um, I have more archers. I, I think I have four to three. So yeah. the fight begins. The overmast church. Cohorts. They're ready. And they're ready for the pillar. Take the pillar in the face. Take the pillar in the face. Pillar in the face. Awesome, let's begin. 
Still, yeah, a lot of them took BL in the face there. And now I've got my Praetorians charging down as Charge of Swordsman. Won't do much though. Cavalry are a lot less effective in this is about Tor War Darth Maul, by the way. They're a lot effective than are a lot less effective in this than in the original realm. So, okay. This is why I play it on Tor War. Oh man, I love this. Looks so cool. Get it Press the shot. Yeah, Try to help out my Praetorians here by trying to peel out at them, but more so peel out, out, out from behind is what's happening here. Obviously, so there's some cavalry here. I haven't used my own, but uh, yeah, let's see what goes. I got some chosen swordsmen, and I think he was yeah, yeah. So I charge them here, and uh, I just charge my general over behind here. So it looks really good. Uh, I'm moving up my forces to start flying here now. Obviously, and yeah. Get rid of the charge here. Get some close ups. Actually, they have um, the most nice surrounded here. So they have wild ants. They're still around them now. Killing off their druids still. I think I um, routed their forest of warbands with my archers, so that's good. I end up actually forgetting about the druids because I think I was trying to finish them all off now so yeah this is a, a really short battle like it's not one amazing one but it's about what you expect because you know it's one it's obviously okay <laughs> as they were in the original Rome they still are here so they're not as OP but they're so OP especially compared to that area so I have killed the general here I'm not doing anyway There he is there. Running away. I managed to catch the children's swords from here. And I got my my uh, general to flank them from behind. My Victoria and Cavalry are getting hammered here. Yeah, we know that Victoria, that very noble Cav beat Praetorians. Good to know. Got my archers, I think, shooting at some of them. Anyway. No, I'm shooting at the Cav to try and help them out. I think it kills more of my own Cav. So this uh, battle is pretty much over. Or it is over. So it's just my, my mopping up the last ones. So just this Cavalry here. Uh, camera. <laughs> That's what happens when you try to use the camera. The That's what happens when you try to use the uh, arrow keys. <laughs> Sometimes it goes messy. There's a barbarian warlord and is the enemy routing. general is running away. This is no way for a leader to behave, but in battle it's beyond belief. And there we go. The enemy are utterly beaten. This so, is a crushing yeah. victory, worthy of a great general. Yes, yes it is. So, let's have a look at the kills. Who killed the most? It was the urban, this urban cohort here. Killed 167, 147, 122. So, everyone did up pretty damn well. All together. So, yeah. Thanks very much for watching guys. And, uh, yeah. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this. And I'll see you guys soon. Thanks very much. Bye.